last year when a series of floods came through, the rain came down in torrents. It did not look good. We had been warned about uh, water coming off the burn scars just to the north and west of this community. I have never seen rain come down as hard as it did that night. There was a wall of jet black water, three feet over the banks of the creek, taking things with it, furniture, debris. It became very apparent very quick that this was a major flood coming down Fountain Creek through Manitou Springs. People did not panic, they were calm, they were collected, they came together to support one another, to keep the tourists in town visiting safe. One of the things that we're really fortunate to have is the assistance of the United Ways of Colorado Flood Recovery Fund. The $100,000 was allocated from the fund to help Manitou Springs small businesses. So Pikes Peak United Way reached out to business community members and asked where the dollars can make the biggest impact. They never expected to get any kind of assistance. They're business people. They, they, they're sustainable throughout this whole process and the fact that the United Ways of Colorado Flood Fund was able to come in and help them with things like a flood recovery wall. It just made such a big difference. It's just been incredible what they've been able to do with the funding. A lot of them have decided to use the funds to build flood mitigation walls, which is really exciting from our standpoint because not only are they working to help their business now, but they're also working to prevent future problems and make sure their business is sustainable in the future. We are an artist co-op and we have a walkout basement that fronts the creek. So we lost the contents of our basement. And by the time the waters receded, we had about four feet of mud and debris and our office equipment and our shipping department and our internet sales. Wonderful, wonderful help from the volunteers who came in through the Manitou Art Center, worked with us to get all of the muck out of the basement. This guy comes riding into town on a scooter with a shovel. And I knew exactly why he was there. There was absolutely no doubt that he was gonna muck in. We were closed completely for about two, two and a half weeks. So that put a big dent in our heaviest sales time. The grant was just very humbling. I mean, it's such a godsend. Um, and it gives us some operating capital to do things as a business that we've been putting off because of slow sales or because, you know, Things just the last couple of years have been a lot leaner. Um, and then coming on the end, on the tail end of an economic crisis. You also have to look at it realistically. We cannot operate solely out of fear that at some point it's going to flood again, because it will. We're going to get rain. There's been a lot of work up in the canyons to put some catch basins in and to try to slow the water down. We now have a $5 million project underway at the end of Canyon Avenue where Williams Canyon flows into to put up some new uh, diversion walls and catch basins. That's going to be a huge, huge help. There was one family that I remember that was on their way to a family reunion in Buena Vista at the evacuation center. They were made to feel so welcomed. I think the best thing they said was, uh, you know, we're coming back here to Panitou Springs after this is all over with. And they did, because they were just treated with such kindness and compassion during that uh, terrible, terrible event.